North Korea today in a show of force. It was the furthest north of the demilitarized zone between North and South Korea that U.S. warplanes have flown in the 21st century. The Pentagon says that it was in response to North Korea's, quote, reckless behavior. This unfolding shortly before North Korea had its say at the U.N. General Assembly in New York City. We are totally prepared for the second option, not a preferred option. But if we take that option, it will be devastating. I can tell you that devastating for North Korea. Tensions between North Korea and the U.S. are at boiling point, with the rogue nation accusing Donald Trump of declaring war on their country. Good morning. Tensions between the United States and North Korea are at crisis point, with North Korea accusing Donald Trump of declaring war. North Korea's foreign minister made the dire statement to reporters in New York, responding to a tweet the president sent yesterday, which said Kim Jong-un's regime won't be around much longer. Ri Yong-ho warned his country has every right to self-defensive countermeasures, including the right to shoot down US bombers, even if they're not in North Korean airspace. As he left his hotel heading out of New York, North Korea's Foreign Minister Ri Yong-ho addressed reporters with a statement that further ramps up the tension with the U.S. Last weekend, Trump claimed that our leadership wouldn't be around much longer, and hence at last he declared a war on our country. Given the fact that this comes from someone who is currently holding the seat of the United States presidency, this is clearly a declaration of war. His latest comments go further than his address to the UN General Assembly two days earlier. He was clearly responding to President Trump's tweet after that speech in which he referred to Little Rocket Man and warned they may not be around much longer. He also referred to a US show of force which took place just before he spoke on Saturday. US fighter jets and B-1 bombers flying close to North Korea's eastern coast but still over international waters. Since the U.S. declared war on our country, we will have every right to make countermeasures, including the right to shoot down the United States' strategic bombers, even when they're not yet inside the airspace of our country. The Foreign Minister of the BRK said many things last week and this week. And I'm... The Japanese ambassador to the United Nations among those who wouldn't publicly dignify the comments of the North Korean foreign minister with a response. Diplomats are hoping there can be a pause in the war of words. But with the constant provocations coming from North Korea and the instant replies on Twitter from President Trump, that seems a little unlikely. James Bays, Al Jazeera. Of the United Nations. The Pentagon was quick to respond to the threat, saying if North Korea does not stop its provocative actions, the president will be given options to deal with Pyongyang.
Let's go live to Nine's US Bureau Chief Rob Penfold for more on this. Rob, you've got some breaking news. The White House just responding to this. Yeah, good morning, Deb. Well, it's really a war of words at the moment, and it does continue to escalate, as you're saying. Now, the President Trump's spokesperson now has had to come and basically reassure the world that the US has not declared war on anyone. Uh, what with the North Koreans being so unpredictable, of course, it's a very dangerous tactic that uh, Trump is using at the moment. So the North Koreans, well, they did see Trump's tweet as a direct threat, and that was over the weekend. And this is what they're now saying. They say, since the United States declared war on our country, we will have every right now to make all self-defensive countermeasures. And they say that is including the right to shoot down the United States strategic bombers at any time, even when they're not yet inside the aerospace border of our country. So that's a very, very serious threat there. Let's have a listen to Trump's uh, spokesperson just a half an hour ago. Not at all. We've not declared war on North Korea, uh, and frankly, the suggestion of that is absurd. Uh, it's never appropriate for a country to shoot down another country's aircraft when it's over international waters. Our goal is still the same. We continue to seek the peaceful denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. So even generals now at the Pentagon have had to hose things down a bit, saying no one has declared war on anyone, and they seek to continue a peaceful solution to the Korean Peninsula issues. Very tense times. Rob Penfold in the U.S., thank you. Ri Young Ho told reporters that Trump's tweet saying North Korea's regime won't be around much longer gives Pyongyang the right to self-defense. The country has released a new propaganda video showing computer-generated missiles destroying U.S. jets and an aircraft carrier. It warns that American forces will be, quote, headed to the grave if the U.S. attacks the North. The threat came after U.S. bombers flew off North Korea's east coast Saturday. The White House says the U.S. has not declared war on North Korea. Not yet, not yet inside the airspace border of our country.